right, everyone. Welcome back for round one and our opponent mulligan. And I think we're keeping this hand. Sure. I mean, it's got lands and spells. It does? Yeah, see? Two forests, two islands. I know they're not lands you normally play, John. Oh, but... here we go. Battle Screech deck. It is a Battle Screech deck, isn't it? Uh, island. Island. Then we can go Forest Nature's War. Yeah. Actually, we can go brainstorm and shuffle away some garbage. Okay, I like that. Uh oh. Scroll. Okay. So our opponent wanted the mulligan. Yeah. So I'm going to do brainstorm right now. Yep. Uh, we'll take oh. a forest <laughs> and put it back. Okay. And we can put back both forests. Yeah. And then we'll draw one and then we'll shuffle one away. I mean, Nature's Lore and play Elves. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Go to Nature's Lore, find a forest. Ramp nice. for days. We just went from two mana to four mana. Yeah. Hopefully next turn we hit... I don't know, Drain Tournament would be pretty good. Yeah, Drain Tournament would be good. Heck, we could even hard cast an Arrogant Worm now. Scroll is going to be a problem if he can dump his hand. Yeah. But if he can't... And we hit a, one of our fatties here. Should be in good shape. He has a gut smoke carrier, whatever. So, fatty? Uh, kind of a fatty. Kind of. I'm going to go island. Should I tap the elf or not? Does it matter? Or what? What are you going to do? Deep analysis? Oh, sure, yeah. Tap the elves then, I guess. We don't have any sing other. Well, we have a, like basking or walls and stuff, I guess. Yeah. We also have, yeah. <laughs> Told, it's like, oh, yeah, you name it, it'll come. Okay. Yeah, but now he's going to shoot it. Um, He'll try. He's got two cards in hand, so it's going to be a 50-50 shot. No, like, if he plays, oh, or another one drop. Not. Well, plus he has to tap three mana for it, so he yes. has to play a one drop, which... Oh, uh, that guy. That's interesting. All right, take five. Yeah, we'll take five. And now he does have Curse Scroll. Yes, he does. All right, it's going to be rough. It could be. Let's see what we get. Let's... Shall we play Owl Familiar then? Yeah. Because we have to dig, dig, dig. Let's dig. Get another land, obviously. Arrogant Worm, I guess, would be okay. Yeah, that'd be fine by me. My opponent's trying to figure out what to do, because, you know, Al Familiar is that powerful. Uh, we could discard a land here, play a land, Frantic Search. Well, let's just Frantic Search right away, then. Oh, yeah, without... Yeah, sure. yeah. So we'll discard an island. Yeah. Frantic Search. Jeez, nothing. Well, at least we can hold up Power Sync, I guess. He's not ever going to play a spell for... Oh, yeah. Well, he's going to play one spell a turn. We're dead. It's possible. Um, I guess we can discard up two lands. Yeah. <laughs> Untap two lands. Untap three lands. Three lands. Um, sure. So, yeah, I guess we just sit here. <laughs> Unless you want deep analysis right now. Go to ten. Yeah. I think Boy. we sit here so that way, the, well, this only does two damage, so that way the best game wall can live. I'm thinking he's going to shoot us. Probably. Okay, well, we'll sit back for a turn and figure things out. Yeah, maybe he shoots the owl. I don't know. He could shoot the owl so he gets through for three. Upkeep. We'll see his last card, probably Battle Screech, because why not? Sure. Oh. Okay. Not the worst. At least we get to... At least he only gets in for three, I guess. Right, because we can block there without a problem. You like manually scrolling? <laughs> oh. Oh, like, is this card is swords? Well, that seems pretty decent. Obviously it's swords. So now he can't even so attack. So what's gonna go... Well, 
Yeah, he can attack with everything, because we can't. Okay. Okay. He should have attacked with everything. Yeah. Because he could swords in response to pumping. Yeah. Alright, he's giving us out. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Try another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're doing good so far. Um, so I'm going to play Island Elf. Oh, yeah. Well, play the familiar first, then. Oh, yeah, I guess. Sure. This seems to happen to us a lot. Just flood, no matter what deck we're playing. Well, when, especially whenever we play against the first scroll deck, we always have issues for some reason. Femron. That seems alright. Yeah. I'm going to discard one of those. Alright, so... Hmm. I don't want flash that back, so maybe just play Skyling Haven and hold up a bunch of blockers. Yeah, I guess. So he swords a guy, then he shoots a guy. He gets in for a bit. Yeah. We can kinda... discard Power Sync because he's not really using... He's not casting any real spells. Yeah, I don't know what our game plan is here. Get a Femron down after he swords. <laughs> I think he should shoot us. Sure, I agree, but... Cool. That's actually fine. I wanted that to happen. All right, now he... our Femron's going to stick around for a bit. He didn't do it on upkeep. I don't think this guy's very good, but he's just killing us. Do you want like double block or? Ugh. I think I might. Yeah, I think we're gonna double block. <sighs> what if he, sh he? If his two cards are the same and he can shoot one, it sucks for us. But I think we have to try it. I think we have to. This sucks. It does. I agree. Our opponent's like, okay, I'll trade you. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess that's good for us. No, it's oh. not. Well, <laughs> battle screech. Uh, <sighs> scoop, because we can't actually win now. Let's draw one more card. Well, we can't actually win. It's physically impossible for us to win against a bunch of two kids. Yeah. Because he's mono white Kong Ming battle screech. Yeah, uh, we've seen this deck before. Yep. Huh, future sight. Not good enough. If it come like a few turns ago. Let's see our top card though. Future sight would have hit four. Okay, then the top. Oh, I want to see what future sight would have hit. All right. So, um, I'm thinking against his deck, we are wanting every single counter spell we have available, because <laughs> he's gonna try to resolve some big splashy thing like Kong Ming, Battle Screech, and we're just gonna go no. Yeah, um, so this is pretty poopy. That comes out. This can come out. This can be our top end. Okay. Um, Oath of Druids can come out. Yeah. Because we don't want that to give him Kong Ming. Well, Oath is probably good against him. Actually, Oath is probably good against him. I agree. Yeah. Uh, Giant Mantis is fine. That's fine. Those are all fine. Those are all fine. One of the fours or fives we need to take. Also, do we care enough about curse scroll to, to bring that in. Probably. I Though Oath is fine, we're taking out a bunch of our high drops, which makes me think Oath isn't going to help us. I think he'll always have more creatures than us. And Oath is just going to give us a creature every turn. Okay. Um, maybe Aether Mutation is not good versus him because of how small his guys are. Because they're all yeah. three drops or less. And he's benevolent bodyguard to protect stuff. Yeah. Okay. Then we can probably take out this extra frantic search. Sure. Might need to readjust the mana base. I hate the white deck. I do too. <laughs> it's pretty. Oh, oh, the druids. Yeah. Okay, I guess we just keep this hand. So, do we, we just... We don't even run out Finhorn Oaths. We just yeah, I don't him, think... We let him trigger the oath very yeah. quickly, and then we can start running stuff out, I guess. Yeah. Unless he never plays a guy. If we just draw all lands, that's great. Do we just play the oath now? Um... Or do we wait... Well, yeah, because that way it, he may trigger it. 
Because otherwise he's just not going to play any creatures for a while, and that's good for us, too. Yeah, either way is a win. I don't... I'm going to run it out there. Okay. This will be an interesting game. It'll be very interesting to see what he does. He's reading Oath of Druids probably now. Got yeah. It. Oh. Oh, bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, thank you. Thank you for a free creature, sir. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Hopefully we hit Ephemera on here. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Boom. Uh, choose target. Yep. Oh, well, alright. All familiars, not the worst. It's pretty bad. It is, it, okay, yeah, it is probably one of our worst things. We <laughs> have. Fact, but we can discard Baskin root wall. We can do, no. No, because that, that, gives gives him, him, that gives him a trigger. Yeah, deep uh, analysis. Deep analysis. Now what we can do is just chump Phantom Nomad. It gets rid of a counter, and then we get to trigger oh, with the both again. again. Yeah. Sure. Uh, maybe you wanted to have flashback deep analysis there too. Maybe. I guess. Hmm. I think you did. Well, he's not doing anything. Okay. <laughs> Because he's like, yeah, I don't want that triggering anymore. Alright, so I'm going to flash this back then. Yep. Play okay, logic's fine. Yeah, we can't play the logic this turn, but... Yep, just sit here. Yep. Or do we want to get in for one? No, because we want to oh, yeah, block... We, we don't want to take the two. We just want to sit here. I'm well, fine. We, <laughs> we want to kill Owl Familiar, to be honest. Right. Battle Screech. Sit our... Blobbly. Such a blobble. Okay, sweet. Oath? <sighs> okay, Oath. What are you? No, our guy's gotta be better than his. I would assume. <laughs> Skyling Haven? Okay. Yeah. Well, we're At least we get to bounce that guy. Um, so. We can't swim with Skyling Haven. We need oh, one that's more absurd. island on that. Okay, so sweet. So land. Yeah. Or what I could do is, yeah, I can play. I could have played that before I played the land. Oh, I can play this and then bounce that guy in response to the trigger. Why would you want to play Owl Familiar? To we need. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, so we just sit here. Yeah, we can just bounce this guy on his turn. Trigger Oath, hit our Ephemeron eventually. Or block. Blocking is good. Yeah. He'll probably tap this down when he swings. And then we'll just go under the bus with the elf, will you? Yeah. Whatever this is. It's Especially that. <laughs> yeah. Whatever it is. No. Alright. Oh. So Siddhar de Blobli is attacking. Alright, so we block uh, Phantom Nomad. Because it weakens the Phantom Nomad. And we can Skywing Aven and Basking Root Wall if we want. I'm not sure if we want to. I think we'll do that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, just puts more power on the field. We get to trigger Oath. Yep. Hopefully we hit freaking Ephemeron. Or even Arrogant Worm's fine. Yeah. You know. Like, our guys are humongous now, so... Right. We don't have any... Hermit would be awkward still, but I'd take it. I'd still take the range Hermit. We don't have many misses. Well, it goes all the way to the next guy. Yeah. And then throws the rest in the graveyard. So... Actually, the range Hermit would be pretty awkward. Arrogant Worm. Worm seems alright. Okay. I'm gonna get in with the basket room wall. Yeah. Uh, ooh, yeah. I was gonna say play that to do something, but nope. Don't don't even want to trigger the. Yeah, we just want to race him here. Hold up circular logic. Yep. And then just win. Oh, you didn't. Oh yeah. I... Sorts. His own guy. Do we logic this? Yes. Because we don't want him to have 
to get a guy. Yeah. It's weird swordsing your opponent's own kill the creature, but right. It's better for us for him not to get a creature. <laughs> yeah, because he's hitting for three and we're hitting for seven. Right. <coughs> Now, Avenged? what he might do is just sit back and not attack. Okay. So he wants to kill his guy. He wants us to kill his guy, so then we have to figure out how we still end up with one less guy. Then. Hopefully, oh. future. Okay, yeah, yeah future we'll play set. Future site and figure it out from there. Foil future site. Yep. Because rig it. Mm. Well, that's that could awkward. get awkward. Do, do we just commit to the fact that we know he's going to? Well, when we swing, we know he's going to block. So we just do we just commit to the fact that we know he's going to start getting triggers off oath? He's not though. Well, if we if we swing, he blocks. This guy dies. Okay, but if he swings, we can block Ruwala here. Our guy dies, then we get an oath trigger. We can't block Ruwala here because this will tap it down. No, he'll tap Worm. Oh, if we don't swing, you mean? Yeah. Okay, we'll just not swing. I'm fine with that. And then we can put in Doreen Sherman and just run out everything we have. Right. And just, <laughs> just go all in once that happens and yeah. just be ready for the fact that his oaths are probably going to get weaker stuff than our oaths. Yeah. Because we have a lot of our weaker stuff here right now. Okay. White for three at end step? Oh, after white. Okay. Sure. That's fine. So can block. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. He only has two cards, yeah. And his Kong Ming, his scariest card, is gone. So I think, oh, wow. So I think we block the Phantom Nomad, I guess. If we block Phantom Nomad, we don't get an Oath Trader, though. If we block here, we get an Oath Trader. Oh, uh, yeah. Which we want to trade out our Basking Root Wallet for Oath Traders. For some reason, I, yeah, my brain is gone. Okay. Take one, and then we just throw at everything. Hopefully we can out-advantage him here. Yeah. Here's another Battle Screech. Oh, Thopter Squadron? What? I guess that works with Kong Ming. Okay. Sure. So he's basically now undergone the fact that he knows Oath Trigger's going to happen. Yeah. So we just start running out enough stuff to be like, yep, okay. Boom, Deranged Tournament. Yeah. Boom, Deranged Tournament. I guess we kind of know that that was going to happen. Yeah. Now, does that mean... Okay, yeah. so yeah, we will use this ability. We will gain deranged tournament. Yep. We get to play island off the top? Uh, no, because we draw the island. It's oh. Just during our upkeep. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Alright. But we, we get, get to play island. Off island off the top? <laughs> so, let's see. So we just run everything out then? This is one, two, three, four. Yeah, we can run that out. We can run out both of these. All three of these. Sure. And just be like, yeah, we, we understand let's, you are getting oath. Let's do this. No, 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 no. What? We have brainstorm. Oh. Okay. Well, well, now we have a brainstorm in hand. Well, that's no good. Right, because we already played land this turn. Yeah. So, right. let's discard. Yeah, let's play the elves. I just wanted to go with the uh, whole overwhelming force thing, so that's what I was kind of going under. Well, Brainstorm is way better. Brainstorm plus Future Sight is the combo. Alright. All right. You get your Oath Trigger. Let's see what you get. He gets, like, a Benevolent Bodyguard. Yeah, okay. What you get? And we Squirrel him. A Gusto uh, Carrier. It's actually kind of good. Yeah, it's alright. And then we have to pay for Echo. Which we do. It'll take up most of our mana for the turn, but then we can like brainstorm into something, so. 
Yeah, you can brainstorm, put back a land on top, play the land, and... Huh. We'll figure it out. Why didn't we board in Claws of Blairwood? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. And we have six guys. Maybe, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe we just let Doreen Shermit die. I don't know. If we let Doreen Shermit die, we lose five power. We'll see what he does. Well, he's running out all his backup guys. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. At the beginning of each upkeep, so our guys all get huge? Yeah, our guys get huge first. All right, so we want to brainstorm. Yeah, we want to hit um the oh no the sacrifice artifact or enchantment doesn't work because you can just sacrifice one of these guys. Yep. Okay, so there's a strike counter. Uh, I think we're paying for the echo cost. Hmm. I think we lose. Uh, he taps with that, taps down that. We can have two flyers up. Speaking of each upkeep. Yeah. Okay. So all his guys are going to be plus two plus O. Oh yeah. On the attack. And what is the blocking one? Uh, his blockers gain plus one plus O. Oh. Hmm. Heard's right. good. So we're going to go land. Yeah. Huh. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't do much. All right. Can we... Uh, what happens when we swing? He... Or maybe we swing with, like, just like this group here. Okay. And then we have flyer, reach, flyer. And we play another flyer, too. Right. We can swing with the elves, too, I guess. Or no, we can leave the elves up so we can brainstorm. Or, okay. well, we can tap them for this. I mean. So we swing with the hermit and his crew. Okay. Get in there, hermit. Hermit and squirrely crew. Boom. So yeah, he's blocking the hermit. He's going to take 12. 12. That seems pretty good for us. Okay. And we play. Now we go tap that, play this. Sure. Because he is. He's his only guy on the ground, so basically unblockable. So now we have enough flyers to block his flyers and keep ourselves alive till our next turn, I think. Are you sure he gets plus, plus three? Plus two plus it. Plus two only? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then we kill him on the swing back. Right. Plus three plus oh, yeah. It should be good. Depends on what he gets off the oath, though. Oh, a radiant. <laughs> radiant. Jeez. Well, we made him lose a Keljor now, post, which is good for this. <laughs> I don't think this is going to matter. Um, but yeah, we, are... we still win, actually. Because he can't swing for... Lovely. Mm. That might actually change the tide. Because now we're going to have two blockers instead of three. Yep. And we block the two biggest guys. Which will be... That, that... Well, we take nine. Yeah. Go to three. Crack back. Lethal. That's the theory, yeah. Uh. That's the theory. Hmm. Because he can, like, blast one of these, he can tap this, and then we have two blockers, which goes block here and there, take nine, smack with at least four guys lethal. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. In theory. In theory. <laughs> In practice. Our opponent just scoops now because he's just he just knows he's lost. Let's right? do that. Yeah, let's have that option. I hope he does something soon because I really want to brainstorm and see what's on top. Set up the future site. Future. I'm not sure I'm bet his last guard's like sword or a second sword, so that way he just 
has don't, three creature removal. Don't say it. So he just swords his own radiant then? Ugh. Uh, that wouldn't help because our our squirrels are each going to be four. Ha! I fucking <laughs> yes. Draw three. Let's see what's on top. Now I'll draw three now that he's left. Oh, wait, don't. No. He left. Yeah, but. Oh. He left. What? That's why I. Once he left and went to his sideboard, that's when I started doing it. That's a bug. That shouldn't happen. Why do you say that? Well, if you have future state, the game's over. You shouldn't have to reveal. Well, he wasn't seeing them. I waited till he left. The I minute, see. The part there. So we board in claws. What do we board it out? Mm. One of the Rewallas? I don't really want to take out any more creatures. We're down at 12 guys. Yeah. Maybe the future side. Maybe. It is a good card, though. Maybe the nature's lore. Maybe, oh, maybe the nature's lore. Yeah. We really don't need that quite as much anymore. Alright. Hopefully Claws will get up. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't do that. Yeah, that was a, a missed board. Yeah, well, we were boarding in so many cards, it just slipped. Right, we basically changed our entire deck. Uh, <laughs> he keeps. Do we mull this? It's pretty bad. Yeah, I guess we're gonna mull it. Um, it's I guess slightly playable. better. It's like playable. It's pseudo playable. We're gonna try it because we're on the draw. Turn one benevolent bodyguard. Somehow I'm not surprised. Gross. We just want forest oath of growth. Yeah. Well, that's not forest, but alright. I'll still take forest oath of druids at any given point in the next, like, two turns. Mm -hmm. it, it can even go oath of druids, then forest. I'm fine with it going that way, too. Yeah. We'll get a cheap win off of oath of druids. Stoke champion? Oh, trapper. Sure. Island, pretty bad. Where on the infinite island plan, John? It's not a plan. <laughs> I know. I know it's not. Yep. Stop doing stuff. He has the like perfect curve out hand, probably. Uh, brilliant Halo. Unplayable card. It's gonna beat us. Yep. Oh well. Figure it out. Every right. die. Slowly and painfully. Another unplayable card. Scamming even. Go. If we draw a forest, though, the arrogant worm actually becomes reasonable. It means this thing has to use up mana each time. If he goes Battle Screech into Kong Ming, though, I'm just scooping. Just so. <laughs> hmm. Battle Screech. Wow, his curve is absurd. <sighs> Freaking Battle Screech. I hate that card so much. It's not even good now. Like, our hand is great, but the card... Right. Well, we sit here. And hope and pray. And... Yeah. Tap out... Or tap for Kong Ming. Kill you. No? Well... We can flash in Ruwala and Arrogant Worm. Okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. Gonna block. Mm -hmm. And on the stack. You should have blocked. What are you doing? I'm doing triggers on the stack to block. Oh, block the 2 3 if you're going to do that. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> right. Discard. Discard. Maddening. This game is maddening. I agree, but we're going to do it anyway. Can't ever be Battle Screech. The well, card we just have to draw Claws of Wirewood right away. Yeah, that would do it actually. Good that thing. might actually get us back in the game. But then we take five here, and then three from our own Claws, and then another two. Plus whatever he plays. pretty weak, but we need to draw Claws. 
Yep. That's no claw. Alright, so what's the play? Deep analysis scoop? Deep analysis. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're dead. I mean, he has one turn, but I don't think. Well, we're going to take four, go to five. If our physical next card is Claws of Wirewood, we'll go we to take, two. Yeah, he taps both our guys, we lose. We just bodyguards. We have no outs. We go to five, we go to... How does he tap? Well... He taps our guy here. We're going to try it. We're going to believe that we're still fucked. Then maybe we can kill ourselves with deep analysis. Go out like a man. Maybe. Tap it here. Sure. Maybe we draw a claws and suicide with claws. Yep. Take six. Suicide with claws? We can block here. Okay. Gives us our only out if we draw claws. Still not an out because he taps our guy. We take three, then we take two. Right. Sure. I understand that. Uh, play a firmer on, discard our hand. Okay. I like this play. <laughs> He's like, uh... Sure. <laughs> oh, oh, no! I, 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 I held control. You can't even do that. <laughs> oh, we have no honor. Uh, Alright, well... Let's see. How would I analyze that? Battle Screech. Yeah... The card is just overpowered. It's really, really... You should have made it an uncommon. Yeah, definitely. Because that card is not fun. I agree. So, there you go, everyone. Battle Screech. Mm -hmm. For like the eighth time. Battle Screech, Kong, Ming, Mono, White. Yep. If your deck is good enough that you can be mono color in this format, that's freaking scary. Yeah, There's White only is two one. decks that I've seen that can do that. Or three decks. There's mono black aggro, and if it is mono black aggro, it's freaking monsters. There's mono white, battle screech, mm -hmm. and then there's mono Gob red goblins. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you all, all in the next draft. As per usual, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Invite friends, you know, recommend our channel to people. Fun stuff. See you in the next draft. Bye.